no sad. way. We want to go to this one. Which will take us back to the original island and take us to where we need to go. Now, I remember there being a cutscene here, but I don't remember at all how to unlock it. I'll do some research and figure out how to unlock it. I think you have to have a Razzly Chan in your party when you fight the Hydra. For whatever reason. <coughs> anyway, now that we have Ice Breath, we can go to uh, Mount Pyre. You can skip all that, by the way. It's not entirely. You don't need to do it. <coughs> Jeez, it's starting to turn out more into like a walkthrough guide <laughs> than a Let's Play. Eh. This is how I normally play this place anyway when I'm talking to other people. Get the special information they don't know. <laughs> but the Water Dragon Island is completely optional. You do not have to do it. It's recommended, especially if you want, you know, uh Navitan's ultimate tech and her ultimate weapon. <laughs> but other than that, you can just go straight through Mount Pyre. It's gonna be a little more difficult because of the lava, but other than that you'll be fine. Alright. Also, before... <coughs> excuse me. Before we go and actually do that, we're going to set the quote-unquote seeds for the next character. <coughs> or trigger a flag for another character in the future. Come over here. Go into here. And you go up to this little burnt spot right here. I see this, the ground here is hot, vegetation won't be able to grow here. So let's cool it down. The ground is cooled down, vegetation can grow here again. <coughs> in the other world, home world, when you come back here, you'll notice a plant growing here. And if you try to pull it out, you realize you can't. You uh, need a potion for that, but that'll happen later in the game. But for now, let's go through this. <coughs> also, for those wondering about the star levels, if you chose not to go through Water Dragon Island, um, you will still get the same amount of stars, but there'll be monsters throughout this area that will give you the stars. <coughs> let's save. Okay. Mount Pyre East. <coughs> As you can see, it's boiling lava. And it's really hot. But you see that chest over there? If we were to freeze this lava right now, we would not be able to get said chest. So let's get it. Now I'm gonna burst. Whenever you walk around the lava that a lava boy will come after you. And look how much damage it does to you. You do not want to be in a fight with a lava boy <laughs> with that low HP. Let's freeze it. <laughs> that was awesome. I skipped the cat burglar. That made my...
I apologize if you heard that. I sneezed and oh my god, that gave me a headache. Anyway, um, let's do this. So you guys can read what they're saying. I want to slow down a little bit. They're basically describing uh, summon elements. Summon elements. Or trap elements. They're giving you a hint where you can find the summon element, by the way. <laughs> if you go to the Hydra Marshes in this world, there's a creature called the Centipede. It has a yellow element, uh, summon element inclined to it. So, if you go to Marble, where they now have trap elements for sale, you can buy the Golem Trap, which is a yellow element trap, and you can lay it out for him, and he'll cast it, and you can take it. I'll uh, make a bonus video where you can find all the summons, by the way. Outside of uh, the final dungeon. Now, I've never actually had an enemy successfully steal an element from me. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've seen many, many, many enemies lay trap elements, but I've never used an element that could be captured. I always kill them with a attack beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> the spell black hole. Fun fact, black holes are really high level elements. So, yeah. What's sad is, if they actually could cast a black hole on me, it would kill my entire party. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's that powerful of an element.
Sorry, really sorry. Alright, now we can do the battle. <laughs> Alright, FYI. Uh, Salt here. Salt ha has a common drop of an iron vest, rare drop of a Skyjian ring. Common steel is a nostrum, and a rare steel is a kung fu shoots. Pepper here has a common drop of an iron mail, and a rare drop of a dragoon gauntlet. Common steel is a pen dragon, pen dragon sigil B, rare steel is a nostrum. Let's kill Salt since he has the more, has less damage already. Less HP. So that's how you use traps, by the way. <laughs> I'll be demonstrating it in a bonus video later. I will. I'm planning on doing it this way for trap elements, by the way, or uh, summon elements capturing. <laughs> I'm going to go off screen when I go to go hunt them. I'm going to record them, and once the LP is over, I'll um, load them all up into a bonus video. That way you guys don't have to, you know, worry about the bonus video in between each set. How about you give Neo Theochan some, uh, <laughs> elements before coming in here? Oh, they're both yellow, so hurt a lot. Eh, not a lot, but did good damage. Never underestimate the power of Neo Theochan. She is actually a very strong attacker once you level, level her up. And like all uh, fist monsters, she has pretty good defense as well. All right. <laughs> Salt's almost dead. Um, I'm not going to steal from him. I'm going to steal from Pepper. Nostrum is a healing element, by the way. It's a black element, so. It's also a high level element. I think it's like a level 6 element. So even if we do get it, we can't equip it. If anything, we'll probably just use it for healing after this battle. Alright! Pepper. Luckily, without salt around, Pepper is pretty weak. That sounds kind of weird to me. It sounds weird to you guys. And salt and Pepper caught me off and cut me off in mid sentence before the battle started. All right, let's see if we can get that. Uh, what was it? I was looking for Pendragon. Sig Pendragon Sigil B. There we go. Or B. I see. Let's say B or C. I should pay attention more. <laughs> 